Welcome to Manifest, hosted by international evangelist, teacher, and author Perry Stone. Enjoy unique insight into prophetic and practical truth. It's time to feast on fresh manna, so get ready to be blessed and encouraged. And now, here is your host and teacher, Perry Stone. Today, I'm standing on property that I believe is a portal and an opening into the presence of God. And I'm going to have to explain that to you today on the Manifest Telecast. I am on what's called the OCI property right here in Cleveland, Tennessee, the headquarters of Voice of Evangelism and OCI Ministry. Now, this property was developed to help build the OCI gathering place. Many of you already know about that. And we're having our fall festival. Now, this will be aired toward the end of the year, meaning fall festival will long be over. But I wanted to show you what it was like during our great fall festival, during the main event meeting. But directly behind me are three crosses on a hill right here on the property. But I want to tell you a story that's very intriguing to me, quite personal about this hill. We have a family that we have known for many, many years, and that family is the James family, Robbie, Tammy, Tiffany, and Chris. And uh, Robbie and his wife were baptized in the Holy Spirit in our ministry many years ago in Alabama. His, Robbie's father was converted to the Lord during a special Sunday service over 26 years ago. But I want to tell you what happened. About a year and three months ago, when this property was in the very early stages of being developed, Tammy had a dream that was so real of her grandfather, who has gone to be with the Lord, standing right here on this spot. And he looked at her as in the dream, she was at the base of the hill looking up at him, and he said, Tammy, this is your inheritance. Now she told me the dream a, a year, and it will be now probably a year and four months ago when it happened, but it never made sense to either one of us or to our families because what did her grandfather mean in the dream? Again, he'd gone to be with the Lord, that says this is your inheritance. Well, we start speculating, having a lot of fun. Maybe there's something buried under the property. Maybe we'll find something. But here's the story. Her uh, great-grandfather was a Cherokee Indian and one of the first of his tribe to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ or Christianity. Now, the missionary that won them to the Lord was a missionary by the name of Washburn. So they took on the family name Washburn based on the missionary who won them to the Lord. Again, Cherokee Indians, her great-grandfather, a chief of a Cherokee tribe. Now, one day when this property was being prepared, only Robbie and myself and Tammy and just very close friends knew about this dream. We didn't publicly talk about it. But my dear friend Steve Williams, who was developing the property, all of a sudden I show up here one day and he, by himself, 